Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. To give you a very warm welcome to our Eucharist this evening on this Wednesday, in our fifth Sunday, the fifth week after Easter, or of Easter, shall I say. We begin with our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, lend the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Coming to God's presence, we come also recognizing our failures to each other and to God. And we also going to welcome those online, of course, with us this evening in our Eucharist. So let's now come to our prayers of penitence. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, the Father of mercies, has reconciled us the world to himself through the death and resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ, by the ministry of reconciliation entrusted by Christ to his church, receive his pardon and his peace to stand before him in his strength alone, this day and evermore. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, and so by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15. <clears throat> Some individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to discuss this question with the apostles and the elders. So they sent, they were sent on their way by the church. And as they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, they reported the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the believers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the sect of the Pharisees stood up and said, It is necessary for them to be circumcised and ordered to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders met together to consider this matter. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the response to Psalm 122 is, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Let, Let us go, go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. But now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city that is at unity with itself. Thither the tribes go up, 
the tribes of the Lord. Let us go to the house of the Lord, as he is decreed for Israel, to give thanks in the name of the Lord. For there are set the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Let us go to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself until it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified. Bear much fruit and become my disciples. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Brother Christ. Now, in the spirit of the union with Christ, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, give thanks to the Lord for. This wonderful day in this wonderful season of Easter tide. And Lord, we give thanks for the wonder, the glory of the resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ from the dead. Lord, strengthen, we pray, your church throughout the world today in its mission, ministry, and events. Lord, we continue to pray, Lord, for your blessing on this parish church, this congregation gathered here. Father, that we may have our hearts set on fire with your love. That we may be witnesses, Lord, to this place of your love and of your hope that you've given to us in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Yeah. Father, remember tonight also the love for our world that's so broken by sin. Lord, we pray, Lord, for every place in the world that is facing deprivation of all kinds, food, clean water. Places, Lord, that are facing dissensions and war. Father, continue to pray for the Sudan, Ukraine, for Afghanistan. We pray for places, Lord, you've not known to us, Lord, that need peace, that need reconciliation and hope. Lord, we pray for the leaders of our nations, that they may work for that peace and justice that we so need. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Father, remember today too, Lord, your grace is at work within each one of us. We continue to pray today, Lord, for our house groups in this parish, for the house group leaders that we met, and for the resumption, Lord, of our house group material this month. Pray the blessing on every house group that we have, that there may be fellowship. Encouragement and learning will be in the very midst of each one. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Father, remember tonight too those on our hearts, those for whom we ought to pray, for we bring them now to you in the name of God. Father, among them we remember Jan, Vicky and Pamela, Lorraine, Max Wall, William, Matt, Sean Hardy, Wade Stevenson, Jeff Evans Priest, Gloria Simmons, Gladys Feeney, 
Angela Shaw. Shirley Eaches, Brenda Smith, and John Hayes. And Father, as we enter the evening, we also remember tonight Tim Taylor, Paul and Sylvia Townsend, Selena, Phil Rand, Mustafa Malone, Alan and Yvonne Summers, Tony Rivers. Father, surround all these for whom we have prayed with your loving arms, strengthen, encourage, and all your troubles. Grant that we pray, Lord, your healing and your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Yeah. And Father, we commend your keeping those who have recently died, and we commend the soul of Barbara Mobs to you. And Father, remember all whose years minds fall at this time. Rest eternal. Grant unto them, O Lord, and, and let light perpetual shine, shine on them. May they all rest in peace and, and rise in glory. glory. Merciful Father, accept, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me stand for peace. Risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the risen Lord. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And so also with you. Let's offer each other the signs. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, who have this bread to set before you, which earth has given you with hands of gold. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, who have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful love. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and life, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise, and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of his Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy word. These gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, 
This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Blessed Mary, Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so now we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. The Lamb of God. You, you take away the sin of the world, have and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover, be sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. And 
Let us pray. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. And we pray together on page 11. Father, we give you thanks and praise that when we were so far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live in his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to glory. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you, the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you and all whom you love, this night and always. Amen. Go in peace, the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia.